Colon cancer is cancer of the large intestine, also known as the colon. Rectal cancer is cancer in the last few inches of the colon. Colon cancer and rectal cancer together are known as colorectal cancer. Colon cancer and rectal cancer typically develop slowly over several years. Most colorectal cancers begin as a polyp, which is an abnormal growth of cells in the colon. Removing colon polyps early may prevent them from becoming cancer. It is important to have a regular colon cancer screening to detect and remove colon polyps before they become cancerous. Colorectal cancer is highly treatable and often a curable cancer when localized. Men and women are almost equally affected by colon cancer. African Americans and Hispanics are at higher risk for colon cancer and are more likely to be diagnosed in the more advanced stages of cancer. Hereditary colorectal cancer is passed between generations through an inherited mutated gene that causes cancer to develop at an early age. Although the majority of colorectal cancer cases are not hereditary, a strong family history of colorectal cancer on one side of the family greatly increases the risk of developing colorectal cancer. Since colorectal cancer seldom has symptoms, it is important to have a regular colon cancer screening to detect and remove any colon polyps. When colorectal cancer symptoms do occur, they can be similar to other digestive diseases. You may notice obvious blood in the stool, or darker colored bowel movements, which may indicate that there is bleeding within the intestinal tract or rectum. Sometimes bleeding may be present but not visible. This is called occult blood and may not be discovered until a blood test indicates a low red blood cell count. Bright red blood in the stool typically indicates that there is bleeding in the rectum or colon, which may be a sign of colon or rectal cancer. Rectal bleeding can also be caused by hemorrhoids. Typically, Patients with hemorrhoids experience symptoms that come and go with flare-ups, whereas rectal bleeding caused by cancer usually continues or worsens and is more likely to be accompanied by pain. Changes in bowel habits that can indicate colon or rectal cancer include new onset constipation or diarrhea, changes in frequency or size and caliber of bowel movements, a bowel that doesn't seem to empty completely, stool that is narrower than normal even as thin as a pencil. Occasional bowel changes can be caused by a dietary change, disagreeable food or a viral bacterial infection. Stomach bloating, distension, cramps or pain in the abdominal or bowel region can be symptoms of colon or rectal cancer. These are common issues that can also be caused by a number of conditions, including diet-related gastrointestinal distress, Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis. See your doctor if you experience frequent abdominal pain and bloating that does not have an obvious cause. Nausea and vomiting can occur if a colon or rectal tumor is obstructing the bowel and inhibiting the passage of liquid or solid waste or gas. Bowel blockage can also be accompanied by painful abdominal cramps, bloating and constipation. Nausea and vomiting are symptoms of a range of conditions, which may be benign or serious. If you experience persistent nausea, signs of dehydration or vomiting that lasts for more than 24 hours, seek immediate medical treatment. Anemia is a blood disorder characterized by a deficiency of red blood cells or hemoglobin. In patients with colon or rectal cancer, intestinal bleeding may cause anemia. Common symptoms of anemia include skin pallor, increased heart rate, fatigue, dizziness and irregular menstruation. Losing weight, losing your appetite or feeling weak are all possible signs of colon or rectal cancer along with many other unrelated conditions. In patients with colon or rectal cancer, these symptoms are usually related. Persistent diarrhea can cause weight loss. Stomach pain and nausea can reduce your appetite so that you don't consume enough food to maintain your weight. All these issues, as well as anemia, can lead to weakness. 
pain in the pelvic area is not common in patients with colon or rectal cancer. If it occurs, it may indicate that the cancer has spread to the pelvic area. However, if you are experiencing something new and unexplained and it lasts more than a couple of days see your doctor.